The story for Fast and Furious Showdown is a lazy mess of a story. I am not kidding when I say this. The story here is literally two characters talking about the main characters of the movies. And of course I'm talking about Vin Diesel's character and Paul Walker's character and so on. And all it is is whenever they start talking about a character, they will go back and do a little flashback sequence where they show a scene from the movie and you get to play that part of the movie. That's literally it. That is the story of this piece of crap. You get to re-experience scenes from the movies and play that them out and that might sound cool but I'll tell you why later it is not but the story here is just absolute trash it is horrible nothing here is good there's no narrative you don't care about any of the characters even if you did love the movies you will not at all so overall the story here is a complete mess it's so jumbled and quite frankly it's boring as hell so yeah the story here is terrible and now let's talk about the sound, which guess what? It doesn't get any better here because the sound design, the soundtrack, and the voice acting are all equally terrible. The sound design is repetitive and there's absolutely no variety with the cars. They all sound the same and when you hear the same freaking sound over and over again, it just gets on your nerves and it did on mine. And talking about getting on your nerves, this game is filled to the brim with terrible rap music and absolutely mind-numbing dubstep. This is one of the worst soundtracks I've ever heard in a video game. So bad. Oh. And the voice work is typically filled with terrible impersonators, but it doesn't help that the script itself, the stuff they have to read, is equally terrible. This game just does not sound good. Overall, it sounds horrible. And now let's talk about the graphics, which guess what? This game is not getting better throughout this review. Oh no, it's getting worse. This is easily the worst looking game I've played this year. Environments are uninspired and are repeated very often. The texturing is extremely muddy and it's hard to tell what you're looking at sometimes. Character models are disturbingly dead looking, especially in the cutscenes. The physics are ridiculous. I mean, cars will get hit and they'll fly around and stuff. I mean, it's hilarious, but it's ridiculous. And with all that bad, the game still can't run properly. You'll see plenty of frame rate drops, texture pop-ins, cutscene stuttering, and glitches. The only thing that I can say that is somewhat positive is that the cars themselves look okay, they're nice and shiny, and they break apart nicely. But besides that, it's a terrible looking game, straight up and down. And now let's talk about the gameplay for Fast and Furious Showdown. As you would expect, it is a racing game and it has two modes going for it, only two. It has a story mode called Fast and Furious and a challenge mode which is pretty self-explanatory. The story mode has about 30 missions altogether, which sounds like a lot, but the thing is, is that each one ranges from 1 minute to 5 minutes, so you won't be playing this game for long. It'll take about 3 hours to finish it. Which is good because this is one of the most broken, boring, frustrating racing games I have ever played in my life. Because it's not just a racing game. It tries to add shooting elements and even platforming elements and it's just terrible. The driving is extremely clunky and it feels like you're actually driving a box left and right besides an actual sports car. And it never feels like you're actually going fast. It never does. It never makes you feel like you're actually going 150 miles per hour. And it's called Fast and Furious. You should. That's like making a Need for Speed game and making it slow as hell. So when your driving mechanics do not work for a Fast and Furious game, you're pretty much screwed. But the developers of this game decided to add some variations to the missions. That's where you get the platforming and you get the shooting elements. At times you'll actually have to stick your head out of a car or actually use a turret and defend your car from other enemies. And this is frustrating for two reasons. One, the AI is terrible for your AI controlled buddy who is driving the car. So at times he'll just run into something or just drive really slowly. So you're getting shot and you can't defend yourself because there's too many and you blow up. And two, the shooting itself is just not fun. It's not fulfilling because it doesn't feel like you're shooting anything. And the worst part is that you can't even see your bullets when you're shooting them. Take a good game like Halo for example. When you're shooting you can see your bullets flying through the air. In this game you cannot. You can't see your bullets at all so it doesn't even feel like you're shooting anything. It's not fun. The shooting mechanics are terrible and the platforming segments are barely platforming and barely segments. There are like 10 seconds each time you have to do it and they are few and far between. There's times where you actually have to jump out of a car and jump onto a truck or another car and actually shimmy across and try to of course kick out the driver and then drive it yourself and they are just pretty much just there to add variety so they could put something on the back of the box 
And no, you cannot freely do this whenever you want and jump to another car. You cannot do that. Whenever the game tells you to do it, that's when you do it. So there you go. There's the story mode. Sometimes you have to go and shoot a tower or chase down a bad guy and blow them up. But for the most part, you'll be driving and shooting, driving and shooting, and occasionally jumping to another car. And that's it. There you go. There's the game. And the only difference between the story mode and the challenge mode is that in challenge mode, you can actually put modifications to your car, which you earn by playing the story mode. Oh, and challenge mode sucks too, so there you go. Overall, I would consider this an insult for a $15 downloadable game, let alone a $40 quote-unquote budget game. Repetitive missions, awkward driving mechanics, uneventful gunplay, underused platforming, embarrassing graphics, awful sound, and a mess of a story. This is a terrible piece of trash that should be treated as trash. Just throw it away. This game should not be played. That is my review. Thank you and goodbye.